now this guide video is going to be a little bit different than most guide videos i'm actually going to show more of these shrines than i think most people are going to do the reason for this is it is really difficult or can be very difficult to find all of these journals so i'm just going to try to show you as much of the shrine as possible and so if you get lost you can kind of see how i got to each location i also have the table of contents for the video to kind of help you find out where to go in the video as well the next shrine that I'm going to show you is the Shrine of Ocean's Fortune. And this one is a lot of fun. There's a lot of pulleys and puzzles in this one. So again, I'm going to show you kind of it in its entirety. You can definitely fast forward if you want to skip along, but I want to show you how I get where I go so that you don't get lost because these can be kind of confusing. Once you get to the location, you're going to jump off your ship, swim down, and I'm going to show you the entrance to this shrine. Once you make your way in, the first journal is actually going to be right to your right side, right on the other side of this kind of rock area. So I'm going to show you where that's at. And it's located right here. After reading that journal, you're gonna make your way through some puzzles and I'm just gonna kind of let this play out as it does. But uh, the next journals are kind of a little further along the way. So just kind of watch what I'm doing here so you don't get lost and confused. But these puzzles are super fun. I really enjoyed this shrine. This was probably the most unique one as it had a lot of the puzzles and pulleys and things like that. But you're gonna make your way up here. You're gonna need to get to the other side of this gate pretty simple you're just going to go over to this pulley you're going to move a platform giving you the ability to kind of move up by jumping along the way once you've moved this platform you're going to jump across and go left and there's actually a journal here so you're going to go open this gate just to make it a little bit easier if somebody falls down Pull this lever and the journal will be right here on your left. After reading that journal, you're going to make your way to the next area by raising this anchor. Once it's raised, you're going to jump across these platforms. and make your way to the next pulley system that is going to bring down a mass so that you can jump across. Now to get to the next part, you're gonna actually have to like backtrack a little bit. So you're gonna jump on these platforms jump all the way down and make your way up through to this ladder giving you the ability to jump across to the next area Now, the third journal is actually located right here on the left, so don't forget this one. Okay. 
after reading that journal you're going to continue your way up and this next puzzle you're going to just need to have everyone jump on the platform you're going to drop the anchor and it's going to kind of rotate you around and you'll just need to kind of jump from platform to platform to get to the next spot Once you've made your way completely across and your whole crew is with you, you're going to continue your path up to the next area. Now, journal number four is going to be in this next room. It's actually located as soon as you walk in to your left on some ship wreckage. But as soon as you do walk into this area, you're going to get into a little bit of a fight. So just go ahead and fight these scurvy dogs. As you can see, uh, they can be random spawns. So skeletons and ocean crawlers uh, stray. And when we were doing this, this man is an absolute violent man. And he sword lunged one of the big ocean crawlers and was standing in his body like some violent man absolute legend this dude but this was good always if you need a man to do a shrine with stray is the guy anyways the next journal is right here on the shipwreck this is journal number four after reading this you're going to make your way up through the next part of the shrine getting to the last journal but you do have one more puzzle that you're going to have to solve before you get there. You're gonna to get to this last room. Once you enter this room, it is going to spawn some enemies, but you actually don't need to fight them. You can just kind of run right past them, make your way up. And the last journal is going to be past these clues or these puzzles. So you gotta complete this next puzzle, getting you to the last journal. This was actually one of the more unique puzzles and I thought it was pretty cool. Great usage from Rare, kind of how they did this. I really liked it a lot. So uh, definitely enjoy it. Something you shouldn't forget about is enjoying these scenes. I spent a long time in these shrines, kind of just appreciating and seeing all the awesome things that they made in this area. So I know I'm kind of showing you the fast way to get all the journals, but definitely take some time, explore, get treasure. Like I said in previous videos, you can use all of this treasure, use the mermaid systems to get these treasures that are all located all around. But in this case, I just wanted to show you the journal location. So I'm just trying to do that for you. Now, the last and final journal is going to be right here near the top. So we have one more jump we have to make, and then I will show you where that is. The last journal is going to be located right here in the hull wreckage of the ship. And this will complete this shrine's uh, journals. And there you go. I hope you guys found this video helpful. If you did, man, I would really appreciate a subscribe. I'm trying to get to 100,000 subscribers by the end of the year, and I could really use your help. Thank you again for watching, and I hope to see you guys next time.